feel like a lot of the uh, ambient little music things in this are lost to y'all because it's so quiet. It is. It's so hard. It is truly a task, especially if you don't, like, have any history with um, any sort of audio engineering or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, so we did basically nothing except open this door successfully. Open this door successfully and then take the stairs. Good Sierra video get No! Where is the right place to click? Now I don't even know. Go down the stairs, Laura. Please don't. Why is this so hard all of a sudden? This wasn't a thing yesterday. No, 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 no. Down the stairs. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Right, Sierra. Right. We six. We successfully went down these stairs at least twice yesterday, and didn't die ever. The only thing that killed us was Wolf's office. Where did I click? Not there. That's for damn sure. Hi, Haggis. Welcome. To I, to I swear I've done stairs before. Even Sierra stairs. I hope you're doing well today. Girl, what is your deal? I'm not gonna say anything. I don't... They, the downstairs of this building is officially out of bounds. I'm going to the VOD. Run it back. Come on, Hannah, do it. What am I- Wait a bit- Pardon? I went here? Looks lighter too. Oh, it's because it's dark. Our save didn't count for the light bulb. Try jumping. I did many times just now. <laughs> oh, nuts. Uh, that's why it became impossible because the light bulb. She can't see the stairs, so she just jumps. <sighs> Ouch! I also don't think my volume adjusting did anything. There we go! <sighs> That's stupid. I was so confused. So genuinely did not understand what was going wrong there. Saving. I do too. I just... I just... I must have thought that I saved before that or after that. We did try to break this. We got yelled at. I mean, we could... Dead. I could kill that mouse, but why would I want to? The mouse trap kills us. Okay, we're going back in the danger room. I don't see any cheese. It's too far. Okay, we don't. It's nope, too we don't want it. No thanks. Oh, you can kind of see the rope. <laughs> 
Although the metals are shiny and colorful, there's really no need for you to touch them. Can I disarm this? Don't touch it. Although can't use any of my items in here. Don't don't. Although the metals are although the World War One campaign medals. Kaiser Wilhelm of Germany is prominently featured on many of the medals. The oh. Be. It's Olympia. If you can hear me, meet me in the armor room at two o'clock. You promised to show me your private scars, remember? See you there, wolf cakes. Wolf cakes. Where'd my pen go? Why am I losing my mind today? I cannot get anything square. And... Usually on my keyboard, but it's not... My pencil note-taking it is, I guess. It feels so wrong. Uh, uh, that was Olympia. Shoot, this is Zork. Olympia and Wolf at two arm. Everyone's in the armory. A lot of occurrences of things happening in the armory this time around. These notes probably aren't going to help us out a ton next time around if it randomizes it. Um, okay. It's an intercom. That must have been from the intercom. It's a desk lamp. Is it? Don't touch. It's the office of security chief Wolfheim. Don't touch it. You don't. What a suspicious looking button. Laura. I wonder what it does. Hmm. Wait, are we not dead? Oh, I just moved the panel to reveal the button. All right. We're dead. Okay, but this is what probably connects Olivia Olympia's room and his room, as we died the same way. That's how we got them, yeah. The the bats. I like how she's just like, well, my fate now. I was eaten by a crew. <laughs> okay. So that's probably important to write down also. I'm sorry. Is the crew also taking, oh, all of my writing utensils? I really don't know where that pen went. Uh, also, there's a door that goes from there to there. Neato. Okay. The intercom crackles and you hear... Volpi, it's Olympia. If you can hear me, meet me in the armor room at two o'clock. Yes. Great. The sword looks... actionable. I do, yeah. I have. I've been slacking, especially in particular the end of this year. But is anything even for sale right now? Just that one. Yeah, we have a giveaway painting right now that I just finished. That's almost dry. It has taken literally almost three months to dry. Right now, I am in the middle of um, Dragon Bridge from Skyrim. And then I'm going to do more benches from, uh, <laughs> more benches on, uh, from Hollow Knight. The, the website has a better collection of, I guess there are like some reviews on the Etsy site, but yeah. A fine broadsword imprinted with the mark of the Toledo sword makers in Spain. It looks very sharp and deadly. Fine, let's touch it.
I mean, I knew that's exactly what was gonna happen, but dang, take another stab at it. Mm-hmm, there are prints on Redbubble, too. I thought they were gone, but they are still there. Got all kinds of stuff. A fine example of room lighting. By the look of the paint scratches where the light screws into the ceiling, Heimlich has probably pulled it down for use in interrogating prisoners. This is the sort of thing that annoys Ernie, since he's the one who has to put it back up on the ceiling. We gotta find Ernie. Ernie's probably dead by now, but we gotta find Ernie. Got to see some of the smithing shops there. That's cool though. That would be really interesting. What? That's ten. Is that a unicorn floating in the murky liquid? Can't be. Unicorns are mythical creatures. Resident Evil, right? No, we've only been in Wolf's office so far. A dusty specimen examination table with a drain at one end. The container is full of an oily liquid. A wooden workbench loaded with many empty glass containers that smell of alcohol, although one of them is full of an oily liquid. The desk is dusty giving you the impression that it's not used very often. All right, this just took a weird twist, possibly. That five, a large, hairy creature with at least one huge claw is floating in the murky liquid of the vat. That sounds like a tyrant. That 14, there's a vaguely humanoid shape floating in the murky liquid. After staring through the glass for a while, you see what appears to be white hair, or perhaps it's a large jellyfish. That 13. Indistinct shapes are floating in the murky liquid. None of the creatures are close enough to the glass to see what they are. That 12. Small creatures with long tails are floating in the murky liquid. Uh. That 11. Something odd is floating in the murky liquid. It appears to be half man and half fish. Or maybe it's just a trick of the light. That nine. Tiny furry creatures, too cute for words, are floating in the murky liquid. There are so many of them in here that their individual shapes merge together into one massive furball. Interesting. That eight. A thick body with two <laughs> long bird-like legs and a long neck ending in a small head floats in the vat. That seven. Whatever is in this vat, it's huge with a long neck. The liquid is too murky to see more. Somebody needs to clean these vats. Vat 11. Vat 6. Small furry creatures about the size of the average dog, colored black with white stripes, are floating in the vat. Vat 1. Small marsupials are floating in the murky liquid. Vat 2. Peering through the glass, you see a turtle floating nearby in the liquid. Aww. That three, very long tubular shapes, like lengths of thick rope, are floating in the murky liquid. That four, a bulky creature with a huge head is floating in the vat. That five. Okay, something's going on here for sure. Another lab door. An Office door, it's a lab door, what is this? A light? It looks like some oh, kind a sprayer. of a sprayer thing. Maybe for hosing the room Uh 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 can we save in here? Nope. Cool, cool. The intercom crackles and you hear Ernie, it's Olympia. The release valve in number thirteen seems to be jammed. Take a look at it when you have a chance. Okay, Ernie's not in here. Valve 13. Old... Sure. I'll take those. You pick it up and place I'll it in the I'll take the whole purse. toolbox. If I could. 
a mop and a broom. Tiny locks secure them to the wall, since the cleaning man is worried about people stealing his cleaning supplies. An old, a rare skeletal specimen of the saber-toothed jackalope discovered high on the frozen slopes of Mount Everest. Extinct for over 20,000 years, scientists speculate that this jackalope was in the process of climbing the highest peak in the Himalayas when it died suddenly of arthritis. It's a stuffed bear! A mop complete with bu- Two interesting skull specimens from early humans who don't need them anymore. I will be back. Sudden case of arthritis. A fine stuffed example of the African giant pouched rat, also known as the Gambian pouched rat. Found from Gambia in the west, the Sudan and Kenya in the east and southwards to the Transvaal. Nearly three feet long. Discovered by R. Meinertshagen, who tracked this rat for years before cornering it in a sleazy bar in Kenya. Kenya. Wampiris, Foma, Grand Falloons, and Assorted Oddments. Womp, 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 Ernie's private boxed collection of World War I souvenirs. Don't touch, don't, don't, don't. It's a bust of Nefertiti, Egyptian queen of the 14th century BC, and wife of the pharaoh Akhenaten. Ernie's private, Ernie, a collection of Anasazi polychrome pottery from the cliff dwellings at Mesa Verde in Colorado. Oh. Hi. Ernie, not dead. This is a private office, Miss Bolt. Please. Oh, you told me to come down here if I needed help. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Leach. I thought this was just a storage room. I'll leave now. Damn it. Out here, so I can save. Uh, okay, but she said VAT 13 was jammed. Do we need to fix that? Uh, that would be VAT, VAT, this one, VAT 13. While this is, while, uh, That's such a nice thing to say, right? A huge closet. You notice several dried streaks of liquid on the outside of the vat, up near the top. Oh. You notice whipping out your trusty magnifying glass, you make a startling discovery. This isn't an alcoholic preservation lab at all. Why, there isn't an alcoholic preserved in any of these vats. Oh. That's not. The specimen table is thick. The oily liquid. The creature is too far away in the vat. Vat thirteen. Has a problem. While this, while the, while. Can we climb it? Could it be? Yes. It's heavy. It's shiny. It's real gold. It's got a sharp point at one end. Is this end. the dagger? It's... The dagger of Amon-Ra. Okay. We got it. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Yay! Boy, the alcohol fumes sure are strong in here. Perfecto. Happy Wednesday. We did it! So that's what she meant by it was maybe? Somebody threw it in there. Yes, I really thought it was for a second. Oh, I can save in here. I 
at least wash it off first. I probably should. There's that oily liquid. It's the infamous, wonderful, not to mention stunning. Oh, wonderful. Oily liquid. Wait, why oily liquid? Hmm. There's so much down here. A full bottle of Dr. Moribund's guaranteed snake oil. This was what was on Olympia's desk, wasn't it? Hi. Daisy will furiously flash across the floor on fleet ferret feet if you try to catch her. Daisy, that's right. Hi, Daisy. Bye. Da what are you showing me? What are you showing me, little Daisy? You pick it up. And the trunk. It's locked. I need a key. Show me where the key is. You have no use for a sack of plaster. Says who? The word gorilla has been stenciled across the label of this large crate. Somebody's crossed out gorilla and scrawled Sasquatch underneath. Curator humor. The word hippo has been stenciled on this crate's label, but somehow you find it difficult to believe that there's a whole hippo in this box. A little bit. The word wildebeest is stenciled on the crate's label. You're not quite curious enough to open up the crate and see what a wildebeest looks like. It's the door to the Mammology Lab's cold storage locker. There's an old cabinet on the wall. There's an open the it. cabinet is empty. Aww. All the equipment is out on the work desk. While this is while while, while skeleton key though, maybe now I can pl pry it off with these. Wait. Oh, of course. Pick it up. Delicious. Don't touch. Don't. 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 The poster outlines basic dissection and preservation techniques. You scan it quickly, just in case you decide to make a change in your career. Uh. Okay. This isn't the. A slab of meat which smells ripe. Veins of rancid fat forming abscesses that ooze copious amounts of pus run through the decomposed cut of beef. Yum, just like mom used to make. <laughs> Yum. Cut it. Blade. While this... Nope. Okay. Uh... The canister is clearly... Some ideas. There's an assortment of tools hung on the wall. Some of the more hideous-looking implements are probably used for the practice of taxidermy. None of them appear particularly useful to Is you. that oil like, um... Uh, what's it called? Um, formaldehyde? While this is... Guess not. I feel like this is not a safe thing to give to a small animal. You hear nothing. You don't. Is he out of here? Oh, hi. Something I can do for you, Miss Bolt? Yes. I have lots of questions. <laughs> so many. Mr. Leach, can you let me out of this museum? <laughs> I don't like it in here. People keep dying. Sorry, Miss Bo. I seem to have lost my door key. Ah, how convenient. Oh, I find that very <laughs> disturbing. Me too. I can't even let myself out of the building. We're all staying here until I find those keys. No, you just break a window. All right, here we go. Actually, I've never met the gent. If that fellow were any more full of himself, he'd rise up and float away like a hot air balloon. The way he carries on, you think he discovered Atlantis. Well, I don't see the gent I too often. Term, right? We working class folks don't see the big guys too often, you know what I mean? Retrace your steps. Place isn't that big. Oh, I guess he's an okay fella. Poor cop. I do wish he'd stop leaving those grape stems all over the place, though. Crodfaller? Isn't that one of those fancy finch pastries? I've 
never met. I don't know your daddy, Miss Bo. Oh. Dr. Miklos is a strange bird, but she's a decent sort all the same. I see her a lot at night working late. Sometimes she invites me in for coffee. She certainly is taken with the plate in my head. She must have looked at the scars a dozen times. Yep, grape stems. So if we see any grape stems, we know the detective has been around. If, Miss Delacroix is a wonderful lady, Miss Bo. A delight to work for. That fella gives me the willies. He's always hanging around, looking over my shoulder with those suspicious eyeballs of his. Also, to tell you the ugly truth, I just haven't trusted the Germans since the war. That Kaiser guy was a real high hat. You fought in the Great War, Mr. Leach? Yes, I did, Miss Bo. I came back with a plate in my head and a chest full of medals, and then I couldn't get a job to save my soul. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, don't let it bother you, Miss Bo. I'm just jawing. I'm doing fine now. Aww. Oh, he seems like a nice enough fella. I don't know him too well. How about the Countess? The Countess is a quite colorful old dame, isn't she? I can't help liking her. Does he not know that everyone's dead? Now there's a Weasley little fella. I've heard he's a stool pigeon. That's a dangerous way to make a living. Granted, we were probably supposed to come down here much earlier than we did. Well, he's an intense sort of a gent. He's all been out of shape about this dagger business, and he hangs around Dr. Carter a lot. He looks ready to blow a blood vessel to me. Why, that, that's me, Miss Bo. Ernie Leach. I thought you reporters were supposed to have good memories. Just testing you, Ernie. That's a pretty good paper you work for, Miss Bo. I read through it every morning at breakfast. Our local cops are okay, I, I guess. They never give me too much of a hard time. I've heard there are some bad apples on the force, though. At least it isn't as bad as Chicago. I don't go to a laundry, Miss Bo. I wash my own clothes. It saves a few pennies. I'm not fond of the docks myself, Miss Bo. I did a short stint over there a couple of years back. I got treated like a dog and nearly got squashed flat by a huge crate of oranges one time. No, thank you. At first, I wasn't sure I'd like it here in this big spooky old place. But it was so peaceful at night and there's so many interesting things everywhere. I really enjoy it now. I feel like it would be cool to work like for a New museum. York City, Mr. Leach? New York's my home, Miss Bo. I was born and raised here, and it's in my blood. Sometimes I think I'd like to go somewhere else, where life is a little slower. But to tell you the truth, I don't think I could ever really leave. Well, a lot of people think those places are the cat's pajamas. I used to go to them a lot, right after I got back from the war. I don't so much anymore. All right, all right. How about... Yeah, I've noticed old Pippin carrying a notepad around. He probably wrote down some nasty comments for future reference. I don't think he's going to have a future with which to reference them in. I'm not sure, but I think it's one of those Egyptian symbols. Oh, this whole place is full of bones, Miss Bo. If you want to know what it is, ask Dr. Miklos. I don't have much use for carbon paper. You might ask that Ramsey's fella. He's a bean counter. He probably uses it. Ramsey's is dead. Is he dead? I feel like we haven't seen him in a long time either. I forget who's dead already. 
Oh, these are wire cutters. Oh, damn it. That might not help us. But it might help us with the pterodactyl. I don't feel like I should show him the dagger. Snake oil? Isn't that what those traveling medicine shows used to I didn't. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's gone now. It's concerning. I don't know what it was. Mr. Leech, has 1926 been a good year for you? I'll have to try it again another yes time. Yes no, Times are tough, but at least I've got this job at the museum. That's more than a lot of folks have. Do you like your job here at the museum? Yes, I do. This sort of work doesn't really tax my brains, if you know what I mean. It gives me time to think. Think about what, Mr. Leach? <laughs> you sure act like a reporter, Miss Bo. Me? No, of course not. Mr. Leach, do you have any idea who might have taken the dagger of Amon Ra? I sure don't. Well, I halfway wonder if it wasn't one of those Egyptian fellas. <laughs> they probably think I took it. Was the dagger well guarded? Oh sure. It was locked up tighter than a v tighter than a drum. Somebody really pulled a fast one. Better watch your language, Ernie. <laughs> Then a viper's jaw on a rat's neck. Do you know much about Egyptology, Mr. Leach? No, Miss Bo, I really don't. I think it's very interesting, though. I picked up a book about it in the museum shop, but I haven't had time to read it yet. Hey, that's some of that Egyptian writing. I've seen it in the Ancient Egypt exhibit. Dr. Carter sure is proud of that display. Yep. All right, that's all we're going to ask him about then, I guess. A magnify a full How do I have this? The label reads, guaranteed to ward off poisonous snakes or your money back. The directions read, sprinkle copious amounts of Dr. Moribund's guaranteed snake oil on snake. Snake will leave you alone. If snake does not leave you alone, Dr. Moribund accepts no legal responsibility for damage occurring to the snake's victim. Death is a natural part of life, so when your time comes, it's best to accept it. Hey. All right. I don't either. Not not entirely sure about that one. It's like an emergency axe, emergency something. We got yelled at when we tried to break it open. Will we still get yelled at? Yep, a lantern or a lamp, which would be super what handy. What do you think you're doing? Sand to get through that secret passage. Here. Nicked, get finger poke and mit their lantern. All right. All right, we have some things though. Things we can do. Uh, Let's try this one first, I guess. Since we're right here. Ahoy, snake friend. While this while 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 this is while this is an interesting approach. Really? On the snake? While this is while while Okay. Huh. The oil, 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 the oil,
Show me the key. This isn't gonna work. With careful <gasps> use of the wire, it did work. <laughs> to remove the skeleton key. Can I use the wire cutters to get the pterodactyl wire though? I wonder if that key goes to that trunk. I'll have to go back to the basement. Laura, where are you? Where are you going? This way. While the while while I'm gonna have to get up close to it. Yeah. Yes. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Stuff. We're getting stuff. Look at us and all our stuff. All right, it's not two o'clock yet. I did wish I knew what time it was. Okay, let's see if this works. Beautiful. Okay, what's in it? The trunk has a name. <gasps> I feel like I got super trolled. I didn't mean to click through the dialogue. Really? That's all that... That's it? I'm sorry, Miss Bo, but I'm kind of busy. It... No. The meat. Throw the meat in there. But that'll help. Maybe. The trunk has a name tag identifying it as part of Carrington's personal luggage. Beside it is another sticker emblazoned with the logo Andrea Doria. Suspiciously similar to Dorian. You find plenty of scratches. <gasps> oh, this was totally where the body was from the very beginning. And then they put in whatever bugs. To eat the, the evidence. Uh, I think. Let's see if I can have time to do this. Wow. All right. Oh. But the, um, wire cutters from the toolbox a skeleton lies in the trunk its bones picked clean by the domestic beetles they've efficiently removed every last shred of flesh making the skeleton nearly impossible to identify great a skeleton a a a a skeleton well Probably close that. <laughs> huh. Uh oh. Wait, where are they going? <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> that was silly. Oh, what are you doing here, my dearest darling? Come here and give me a kiss. Do you know how much I've missed you? What is it, my dear? You seem agitated. Oh, I know what you want. I know, I know, but I can't give it to you. Not here, not now. You hear what sounds like a muffled groan. Easy, easy, my love. All things come you want the dagger? too late. It will all be taken care of in time. Uh, I feel like she's too obvious. You hear I also don't know for certain who she was just talking to. It could have been Ernie. Ernie's not in here anymore. What is it? You pick it up and place it in your purse. Uh, yes? Current fat contents. Alcoholic preservation lab. So I don't know that this is super helpful. It's cute, but it clears up what we were looking at. But Tin is actually a unicorn. Is there not more we can get out of here? Upon close <gasps> Miss Bow, I've warned I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. I was just helping Olympia look for her ferret. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Here, little ferret. Here, girl. The ferret's not here. Get out. Okay, sorry. Bye. What did we pick up off the floor? This curious device is a lasso at the end of a pole used for the humane capture of snakes in the wild or wild snakes or something like that. A lot to do with this snake that is still in a cage. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, don't really get it. We have both options now, I suppose. So that's neat. Or maybe a ferret. Maybe the ferret is a man eating ferret. This was the King of Daventry, right? Yikes. For a moment there, it looked like a puffy eyeball was staring back at you. Now all you can see is a piece of royal blue cloth. That 14, there's a vaguely humanoid shape floating in the murky There was not, no. It was picked clean by some kind of bugs. So far, at least. Please don't be angry, my darling. It can't be helped. So maybe not, Ernie. Please, my dearest, don't run away. Soon. I promise, soon. That's my darling. That's my dear one. We'll go back to my office soon, and I'll give you what you want. The ferret? <coughs> Can the ferret talk? What the hell was she talking to? You did. What? Maybe the bugs. Maybe they're collectively... Is she gonna feed it the snake? No, maybe she was talking... Ah! I don't know, we got it. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. Ah, uh, I'm gonna save. Not in here yet, at least. While this is, don't, don't touch. While, don't, while, while, while this. Oh, 
I'm simply devastated that it was stolen before I got a chance to see it. It's supposed to be simply divine. Well, I can show it to you right now. Oh, thank you, dear girl. Let me take a closer look. <laughs> she just walked away. <laughs> Let me take a closer look. Unlike the gift shop daggers, okay. this one does not have made in Pittsburgh's. Why? That's it. Can I look at the handle specifically. Unlike. No. Uh, un okay, maybe I will regret that in the future. Perhaps. Jeep. Lots of snake stuff happening. I guess I could listen to the intercom again. Don't touch. Don't. The intercom crackles and you overhear a conversation. First try. Oh, I so love your scars, Wolfie. Show them to me again, darling. They are yours to admire, my strudel. Hoopa! Very, very nice. Yeah, and I have this new bone for your collection. Ah, such a... I've been carrying this bone around... I'm impressed by... You touch the. You hear only static. This Such time. regret. Lasso on the cheese. That's true. That's a good thought. Ooh, like a little. Whoosh. But then, well, then we won't get shot. Let's try it. <gasps> nice. <laughs> good thinking. Now we should be able to get. We didn't get. We didn't actually get any cheese. We just set off the mouse trap. You pick it up and place it in your purse. The intercom crackles, and you hear. Wolfie, it's Olympia. If you can hear me, meet me in the army. No, I already heard you. Yeah. Can I do the same thing to get the- I don't think I need this sword, but it would be gosh darn helpful. While this- why, why, why. <clears throat> Okay, no. Oh, I did get the cheese. A wedge of the finest mm -hmm. Limburger cheese. The ultimate in cheesiness. Wow. Feels like- a closer look reveals a bit of mold on the cheese. Oily liquid, it smells. The strong smell of the oily liquid reminds you of the snake oil. Oh. So is this just maybe it's a place for us to refill our snake oil? Worried that there might be snakes hiding in this desk, you sprinkle a little snake oil around just to make sure it's safe. It seems to work. Since no snakes jump out and attack you. Good. I didn't. I would not be surprised if that were a thing that was going to happen. Dust comes off on your hand when you touch the desk and the glass containers. Attempting to move the containers, you find that they are welded in place by grime. Dust. Dust. Worry. While this. E oh! Oh! I just used all of it. Uh oh. It was full already. No! I didn't even, a full. I didn't say anything. Ah, damn it. Restore. The intercom crackle. Vol Goodbye. Oh, mousetrap. Yes. You have all read. You have all. Oh. You have. Did we not take the mousetrap? It was just the cheese. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I really thought we also took the mousetrap. I guess not.
probing around in the vat with the net, you find nothing more than an ordinary dead unicorn, possibly left over from a King's Quest game. Can check Boy, all of the these. Alcohol fumes sure are strong in here. I bet we can check all of them, but I also bet we die if we do too many of them. If the alcohol fumes are strong. Oh, that guy! That guy! No, oh, you are. I have questions for you. Also. You see a rotund. No, but tell me who he is. I think it's Mr. Smith. Uh Snake charmers sometimes use the oil to control their snakes. Yeah, okay. I think I get that much. Ah, the dagger. Such a great loss to my country. First to have it stolen from the temple, then from Egypt, and now this. When will it end? When will it return to its rightful place? Why are you? Although I have much fondness for food of any kind, you have a strong smell of cheese about you, <laughs> which I find very distasteful. Perhaps it is your natural smell. In which case, I am sorry if I have. No, thank you for letting me know that I smell like cheese. I have no idea why. I only eat brie, my dear. It's good for the constitution. I guess not. I mean, we showed it to... This is probably... Oh. We showed it to the countess. We can show it to this guy. While this... While... While... while or not. While. Maybe there are too many things in the way. While this, while, while, nope. while, 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 cannot show it to him. Dare I listen again? Now, Dr. Nick, this guy, what was it you wanted? Well, I saw you admiring the swords on some of the armor displays. So, I thought you might want to see this beautiful specimen of Mr. Imes. But thank you, I suppose. Hmm, it is quite beautiful. Was it forged in Toledo, Spain? Yes, it was. Wool, uh, Mr. Heilig, keeps it very sharp, as you can see. It's... Stop! What is it, woman? Mr. Heilig has been having trouble with the mounting of that sword, Mr. Najir. If you were to touch it, it would more than likely fall off the wall and kill you. Oh, you don't say. Why? How can I ever thank you, Dr. Miklos? You <laughs> seem to have saved my life. Hmm, let me see. Do you have any scars or tattoos, Mr. Najee? I want to talk to him. Well, yes, I, um, I suppose I do. Just a foolish thing that I had done in my impulsive youth. Ah, please let me see it, Mr. Najir. It would be... Oh, Dr. Miklo... Are you forgetting that I just said... <sighs> Your shoes! How exciting! Here they are. Look quickly. What if someone were to come in? Ah, how beautiful. Egyptian sun symbols, yes? Yes. Please, may I put my shoes back on now? Oh, if you must. I've never seen... Yes. Ah... All right. This door. It's locked. <gasps> this. Wait. You, you don't. You hear nothing. Oh, 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 oh! Ferret friend, ferret friend, ferret friend. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Wait. Will you be my? Are we, are we friends now? Wild. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> that ferret was totally what she was talking to, though. No! Ah! 
did a thing. There it goes. So you can feed it cheese. Which means Wolfie was trying to kill it. I think, more or less. And off I try to catch it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Anything you say, my love. Murder. Oh. More than the Countess? She is always fucking around like she owns the place. Museum security must be maintained. That woman must die. The Countess? Why should she be killed? Didn't she go home after the party? Someone lets the Countess in and out of the building during the late hours. If I ever catch her, she will pay the consequences. Maybe I'll be lucky this time. Maybe I could discover her body. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps it could be arranged. That's one of the things I love about you, Wolfie. You have a wonderful sense of humor. Danke, and so do you, my strudel. Is she going to be dead in the armory, I wonder? And does that mean that Ernie helped the Countess get in and out? Why would she need to get in and out? 